My friend Joel carried out a methodical plan to take his own life. A shock of bright light in a room where my eyes had grown accustomed to dimness. In a moment, much of what I knew about myself and about him was gone. He was nothing of a golden boy. He was a substitute teacher in a school district south of San Francisco. He drove across the country in his Ford Escort wagon, having stuffed it with belongings he wanted us to have. Later we saw that he was giving us more than his things. He stayed a week, a life shared in our life. He knew he was saying goodbye for all time. I remember nothing about those days after his last visit. There were signs of what was to come, but I didn't see them. What I saw was people going about their lives like clockwork. If someone drove about aimlessly after work, not wanting to go home, I didn't know it. If suicide was being contemplated or executed, I didn't know it. When almost nothing was left in Joel's apartment, he sent the remainder to me. A package arrived with an egg coddler and two commemorative spoons. On that same day, he looked about his empty rooms late in the afternoon and thought, yes, this is my time. The void was complete. His vision of a purified life had become real. And on that day he died. The spoons and the egg coddler now rest on a bookshelf behind my desk. When I look at them, I think of the tangle of his death, think about what purpose I served in his story. Terrible things can happen in which I am implicated. After cooking his egg, did he hold the empty coddler in his hand, still warm like a living thing? What would I have done if I had seen his intent? If I see that the last fawn is dragging its legs, what am I going to do about it? Joel didn't ask me to remember him. He didn't ask me to take a single step to salvage his life. I just can't help myself. I have to put my arms around it, and I have to embrace it, not let it go. The wind picks up, a bottle far away rattles as it rolls down a hill, the way things that need to flow downward do. And the sparrows are up and swooping. The sun comes out from behind the clouds, everything ablaze with light. If I ask what gift might have kept Joel alive, I think a companion.